Yo, what up YouTube? Plumpy Man here. Just doing another quick video. Uh, finally, finally got my freaking <laughs> lower built. Uh, here it is. Yankee Hill Machine Lower. Uh, it's an R-Guns parts kit. Um, stainless steel. I went ahead and picked it up back when everything was going crazy and you couldn't find part kit or ammo nothing basically after the sandy hook stuff and yes that was a bad tragedy uh... for those children but the way the government's doing with our guns and stuff like that i disagree but that's my opinion and yeah it was hard to find uh... like i said i did a quick video earlier on when i found the lower um... this is the R guns stainless lower parts kit um, this is obviously Paul Metal State Armory lower build kit uh, I just replaced my stockpile of build kit from this one went ahead and put it in here and I just took the Paul Metal State and put it up uh, it took forever I ordered this thing on the 8th and didn't show up till the 2nd of October which was kind of weird and big rigmarole and I did a quick video earlier yesterday um, I think you guys seen it but yeah finally done it was pretty simple uh, I went ahead and all I had to do was put in this uh, the retainer pin detent pin in here uh, the plate castle nut and buffer tube got that screwed on um, Tightened it with my wrench. It was pretty simple. It didn't take 10 minutes, basically, and I had the complete lower finished. But this is it. I was going to do it on camera, but did not. Uh, at the time, the camera was charging. It takes, what, four hours to charge my camera. So, anyway, I was all excited for getting it. So, I just went ahead and wanted to get it finished and did it to it. But that's the finished project. My completed lower. Um, I think by the time I got done, I guess with the magazine, which is just a Tapco 30 round mag, uh, I bought it off a friend for like 12 bucks. Uh, with the lower and the parts kit, everything, uh, I built a complete lower with machined aluminum lower with uh, all the parts I think I was right out the door at $190 or $191 somewhere right around in there uh, basically two, under $200 for a pretty decent uh, complete lower um, I have not took it out and shot it with it yet it's still pretty much brand new like I said I did uh, smack it on my uh, AR-15 over there and fit just perfectly uh, everything I racked it back a couple times everything worked seemed to work just fine uh, but there it is finished project uh, finally got it done just doing a quick little video for you guys uh, let me know what you think 